All right, I just wanna make a quick video for you. The simplest way, easiest way to help you meditate or what I like to call this is make you feel better about yourself or uh, feel better in your skin. It's odd times, so you know, if you need to learn how to calm down, this is the easy way to do it. It's my simplest method. Um, step one, pay attention to your breath coming into your body and your breath going out. So, and you can slow it down or however you want, but just one part is pay attention. You can see there, I was going in and out, right? So paying attention to it, just kind of breathing with yourself, right? Paying attention to the breath going in um, and out. Second part is because sometimes that's difficult and then you're like, Oh wait, I wasn't paying attention to my breath, and you were holding your breath for part of your meditation, and you're like, "What?" It's, so that's a big issue. So the second part is connected with this. Um, it's called Hope and Open O. Comes from Hawaii. Not sure if each one of these syllables means those things, but it's like it's um, it's the four phrases: "I love you," "I'm sorry," "Please forgive me," and "Thank you." So instead of just paying attention to your breathing. Kind of set your breathing so that you could hear yourself breathe in and out, pay attention to it. But then while you're doing that, say in your head, in your mind, right? I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. And you could do this like, just imagine it, this breath and these words like going through your body and you're just paying attention to those two things. I like to say, I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. And you know, whichever pace, I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. You know, slower, faster. And literally, it has been the, the issue that I've had in the past that it takes it away. And I used to think meditation was just paying attention to nothing, and then paying attention to a thought, and then not paying attention to a thought. And then I realized it's all those things, it's different things. But then I realized when I went into this, uh, I learned about this whole Pinopino thing, so I went into the research of this. It's this healing method where apparently because these phrases are you know like high frequency phrases so like i love you and thank you you know it's kind of like up there it's not like oh i feel sad about my life it's like oh oh i have the ability to you know go running like you have the freedom to exercise you have the freedom to you know work or not work like if you want to you could be broke as fuck you know whatever it is you have lots of freedoms, and once you start saying that phrase, I've noticed when I started saying those <laughs> phrases, I started coming up with like resources or like you know things in my mind came up that are like, oh, I literally can do that, or I've been putting this aside forever, and I've been wanting to do that for a while, but I forgot about it. You know, you get these nice epiphonic moments, these little epiphanies, right? So that's what it is. Pay attention to your breathing, in and out, and repeat those phrases. That's it. Try it for one minute, five minute, ten minutes a day. I do it for a bunch more just because, well, a bunch more. No, some days I do it for only ten minutes or only five minutes because I totally forget. I just I just woke up, I did something, you know, I was like, oh, this is an exciting day. Or, oh, you know, I woke up on the wrong side and then I got into something because I needed to help out here or there. And that's just where my mind was, you know? I'm not saying it's wrong or right or whatever. Just some days I meditate less, some days I meditate more. But I'm setting myself a challenge, right? So that's what we do now. We challenge ourselves or challenge other people. Um, so just go do that, you know? Set a timer for 60 seconds. If you know you have absolutely no time, I guarantee you, you can find 60 seconds. Um, but you know, if you've never done it before, maybe you should just do, set a little timer for, you know, 10 minutes and just see how you do it at the end be like, Oh, it was horrendously amazing. I can't believe how much I loved it, which is usually happens to me. I'm like, I don't want to do this. And then I do it. And I'm like, didn't even feel like 20 minutes. It felt like infinity. I felt like one little moment, but I felt better about myself after I did it. In the sense that, like, I felt all right in myself or in my skin, in my body, right? Sometimes we judge each other. 
judge ourselves about things we did, didn't do. Anyway, I did this because I challenged myself to do it. Just kidding. My buddy said, like, do that. And I've been, I've been wanting to do it for a while. Sometimes if you don't have the willpower, borrow other people's. I appreciate you. Rock it out today. All right.